Okay guys, today's video is going to be about surface roughness and surface roughness of a sand blasted part versus a vapor blasted part. Um, however, the data will be skewed a little bit, but I do want to show you that there is a difference in surface roughnesses and of course appearances. What we have is a vintage uh, actually cam cap or cover if you want to call it. Um, what we're going to do here, this piece has actually been sandblasted from, uh, it came in from a customer and we actually are going to vapor blast these parts and pieces and bring the finish back out of them. Um, I highly recommend that uh, sandblasting is kept to a minimum with vintage parts and uh, there are many reasons why but the main reason is for uh, for preserving the integrity of the pieces. Uh, you're actually blasting, removing material, changing tolerances, and of course the appearances are not that great uh, with sandblasting as you can see here. Uh, but this is just the uh, the sealing surface, uh, one of the pieces on the cylinder head. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our surface roughness gauge on this piece first. And uh, those of you who have never seen one of these pieces or one of these units, what this is going to do is it actually has a stylus here on the end and um, I'm going to zoom out so you can see this but there's a stylus that actually drags across the surface and measures the peak in the valley uh, giving us the surface RA or the surface roughness and so what we're going to do here is we're going to start this instrument here we're going to let it go across the surface it's going to give us a reading. It's going to tell us how rough this particular part is. Then what we'll do is we're going to vapor blast it. We're going to show you the after finish, of course. Uh, we're going to show you some in-process footage. And then we're going to show you the actual roughness after vapor blasting. And we should be a bit lower after vapor blasting, even though the surface has been previously roughened with sandblasting. However, if we were to do this with a sandblast part versus a part that has not had any blasting procedure done on it and then we actually vapor blasted that part. Uh, the vapor blasted part of course would come out much smoother. Uh, the surface roughness would not be as great of course as the sand blasted part. So here you can see we have a surface roughness of 4.014. That's the the RA of the surface. So let's go put this in the machine and uh, see what we can do with it and then we'll be back and check the reading again. Okay guys, so we're done here. Uh, we're gonna pull this part out after we rinse it off a little bit more. We'll air dry it, uh, and then we'll come back and check the surface roughness again of this particular sealing surface. And we're gonna see if it's changed any at all, uh, hopefully for the better here, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're back again. Uh, we just finished blasting this piece, this part. Uh, we're going to just show you real quick what this looks like. Obviously there's a huge difference here between the surface finishing uh, characteristics of sandblast versus vapor blasting. Um, that's nothing new here. We all know this by now, hopefully. If not, you're seeing it here for the first time. Uh, but there's a huge difference aesthetically. Uh, we're trying to show you right now the surface roughness difference. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're putting the surface roughness gauge back here on this area uh, that we just checked a minute ago. Uh, so we're going to make sure that all contaminants are wiped from the surface there. If there's any we're going to put our gauge back on there. Again, our surface roughness gauge. We're going to... Uh... Okay, 
we're cleared out. I'm going to drop this back on the part surface. We're going to zoom out so you can see this again. I'm going to hit play here or start. We're going to check the roughness. We're going to see if there's a big difference here between sandblasting versus vapor blasting. And again, this would be better if we actually had a part that was not sandblasted first uh, because, again, the surface has been roughened extremely, um, as you could tell by the, uh, by the reading there before. So we were at a 4.1. Now look at where we're at. Uh, we're at a 3.230. Uh, so that's a drastic difference in surface roughness. Again, that's where you're getting that beautiful bright shine from. Uh, that's why it's so smooth, and that's why it's not actually changing and distorting and damaging your material. Uh, it's, it's keeping that surface intact. It's keeping it smooth. Again, we're not roughing the surface. Again, that gives us a beautiful aesthetic finish. Uh, so again, that is a hard fact right there. That's hard evidence that, again, we are not roughing the surface, but we are lapping the surface. So again, we're maybe making it smoother, which makes it brighter. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We will do some more surf surface roughness testing here soon. Uh, but that's a very quick video on sandblasting versus vapor blasting and the surface roughness behind it. So hope you watched or hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, please give us a call, shoot us an email. Uh, we'll be glad to do some testing for you. Or if you're ever in the area, drop by, schedule a visit. We'll be glad to uh, do some in-house demo uh, and, and some in-house processing for you. So thanks for watching.